Well, we have a brewery. We built a freaking brewery. <laughs> oh boy, what the hell was I thinking? What's up guys? It's been a long time since we've done a video and I get a lot of calls and text messages, emails, comments on social media, Facebook message, just people want to know when we're opening. Um, and if I knew, I would tell you. We don't know for sure, we think we know. We're getting, we're down to the last week or two of construction on the uh, brewery and the tap room. Um, today I'm just doing the final touches here in the brewery, which is just getting some insulation on these glycol drops. And then uh, that's pretty much our last little job back here. We've got some inspections this week coming up. Um, Able, health, all the city stuff, fire, all these inspections. Um, everything's ready to go. Um, next week we'll finish up, over the next week or two, we'll finish up the patio space, all the parking out on the street, uh, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, we're, we're pretty much done, we're close. And uh, as soon as we get these inspections, that'll tell me uh, for sure when, when we're gonna open. So, um, so somebody made a comment like, why won't you just tell us? I mean, we don't know. I really don't know if I, if I told you and then an inspection goes bad or something comes up that we have to fix that puts a two week delay on it, then I'm wrong again, right? So I've been giving projections since last year and I'm like eight months off on my original projection. So, but anyways, as soon as we know, you'll know. I got to get back to insulating these glycol lines then uh, I'll show you around a little bit back here in the brewery. We'll, we'll do a tour of the tap room and all that stuff when it's done. But I'll just show you guys a couple things back here in the brewery in just a second. Cool part, let me show you the new brew system. All right, behind me is the new Alpha 15 barrel brew house, three vessel, so mash tun, boil kettle, and whirlpool. I'm really excited about this because all those New England IPAs that we like to do, um, I really get to do a real whirlpool now. So even though most of our hops go in the dry hop, it'll be interesting to play around with that. Plus, having the three vessel system lets me do double batches. So we have 30 barrel fermenters and 15 barrel fermenters. So those double batches will go into one of these three 30 barrel tanks. Single batches go into one of these three 15 barrel tanks. And here's our cold liquor tank, and we have a hot liquor tank over here. One thing that was real important to me when designing the, the setup here was the tap room. So I think the tap room is just the heart and soul of, of every brewery, and we want to put most of our emphasis on tap room business. Even though we're distributing um, all over the state and we, got, and we have some bigger tanks, the tap room experience is really our priority. And so I wanted a pilot system that would brew, um, that we could use to brew more one-offs and brew some taproom only stuff. But I wanted it big enough to also be able to run, um, you know, a short, a small canning run through our canning line. So what we got is this three and a half barrel Blickman brew system. This is our pilot system. And then I have two four barrel fermenters. So what's really cool about that is just we can play around. Um, we're already 
putting together a couple of recipes for some fruited sours, some West Coast IPAs, um, pastry stouts, just all kinds of stuff that we normally wouldn't be able to do if we just had to brew on the big system all the time, like, like when we were at the Brewers Union. So we're really excited about that. We've got a little work to do on it before it's ready to go, but it's getting close and we'll have a couple batches made on that system when we open. And then this is our canning line that we bought from Alpha. Um, we're not rich, so we just had to get this shaker uh, table, deep house system, and a twist rinse, just a small three head canning line. We'll do about 20 to 25 cans a minute though. And then we got this labeler for all those one offs and 16 ounce cans that we'll do. We'll do some in 12 ounce cans as well. So that's the, that is the canning line. It's funny, I was talking to Joel over at Stone Cloud one day and we were talking about cooler space and he kind of showed me all the different coolers that he's had to put in and he said, whatever you think you're gonna need for cooling space, double it. So we tried to add a little extra space. You know, we have a separate cooler up front for the tap room. And then back here, we have this giant cooler. So basically the space here behind this wall, we really didn't want to waste the space. We didn't know what to do with it really, but that entire area is a cooler and this will hold our you know ingredients and then uh, it'll hold the beer going out the distro so it's pretty good size and we we thought it'd be huge it's 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 big enough for us right now but as we start stacking some storage stuff in here furniture for the tap room and uh, cans and stuff like that it fills up quick but uh, it'll work for now and hopefully we are filling it up with beer one of the more challenging issues we had to deal with was the auger system for this mill and we had to run this auger through this brick wall out right here and then because we have this huge ductwork we were barely able to get it over to the top of this tank so yeah that was that was a lot of fun we were up on top of this tank for many days trying to get it right and trying to get the the motor right trying to get the right angle on the piping but we got it and it works now that's it that's the production space um, pretty much done we'll get these inspections taken care of and finalized and once all that's done we'll be able to set that date and you guys will be the first ones to know it's weird i can just remember when i first started planning out this brewery and that was seven years ago and it's taken that long to get to this point. There's been a lot of just hard times and sacrifice and a lot of times of thinking that it would never happen. When you grow up the way I grew up, it's real easy to think that you're not capable of creating a business or living out a dream like this, especially something that costs a lot of money to start and to get going but um, I've had a lot of great support from investors and from Bobby. Uh, she takes care of the house and the business at the same time out loud she does it. Um, she's never blinked one time. She's never second guessed or questioned what we're doing one time. And every time I've ever felt like, uh, you know, that it's, I'm not gonna be able to make it. She's always there to remind me that this has to happen and that I'm more than capable. So I've got a team of investors who pitch in and help out in the brewery, 
I've got investors who get out there and push our product and set up meetings and stuff. I've got a, the, the people we have in place as investors all bring something to the business that's needed. So um, we're just blessed in that. And then, uh, I don't know. I think my dad just would be really proud of this right now. And I wish he was here. So I can really already hear you guys here in the tap room, having a beer, watching a football game, and just having a wonderful experience. All of this started with me and my dad sitting at a bar in a brewery that I worked at, having a beer and dreaming up about the day that we would do this, that we would start this brewery. And hopefully in our tap room, we're gonna have somebody come in and have that experience or they're going to meet their new best friend or their next husband or wife or um, next business partner or or they're going to have their birthday in here you know those experiences that people never forget that's what i want to create in this tap room those are the there's something about beer there's just something about beer like it creates memories and brings good people together and you, you have experiences around beer that you'll never forget and you'll always remember that beer that you were having when uh, you know you met your girlfriend or when OU kicked Texas's ass you know you'll, you'll always remember those things and there's something about beer that makes all that happen but Hopefully we can do that for you guys. Hopefully it's going to be really soon in a matter of just a few weeks. And um, until then, cheers. Thanks, guys.